A straddle-type monorail system uses a vehicle which literally straddles a single track beam. One advantage of this system is the simple structure of the track beam, which means construction costs are lower. Another benefit is that the track beam can be viewed from the ground and the train, so maintenance is easier. Currently, straddle monorails are more mainstream. This is the standard structure of a car. Each car sits on two bogies, and power is drawn from a power rail running along the track beam. This is what the underneath looks like. On the bogey, there are four drive wheels in two rows that move the train. The wheels are about one meter in diameter. There are also lateral guide wheels to keep the train on the track beam, and other wheels that act as stabilizers. The straddle monorail was developed in Germany and was introduced in Japan on the Tokyo monorail, which opened in 1964. The wheels on the German straddle system are in the center of the car. This means that those areas must be used as seating, which limits the design options for the interior. Therefore, a barrier-free design was developed in Japan, a design now known as the Japanese straddle system. A disadvantage of the Japanese design is that the train's center of gravity is higher, which leads to reduced speed on curves. But this is offset by the flat floor, which makes the interior more spacious and in turn increases capacity. The monorails being exported overseas use this Japanese straddle-type system. The track beam used for straddle monorails in Japan is very technologically advanced. On the Osaka monorail, there's an important junction where its two lines merge. The junction has five unique switches to make the complex procedure possible, and it's the only junction of its kind in the world. Each switch consists of four track beams, each a length of 5.5 meters that are computer controlled. This allows the track beam to bend smoothly, almost like a finger, into each position. During morning rush hour, the switches move almost every three minutes and play a key role in keeping the trains running safely and, of course, on schedule.